Ahoy hoy everyone, it's Craig here at Magic Kingdom back with a Disney dining review. Before I get started though, I just want to remind you that this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel, the experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation. If you like us, you want to support our content, please consider using Dreams Unlimited Travel when planning your next Disney vacation. You can get more information in a free no obligation quote at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. And then also, please make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, uh, suggestions for future reviews, or any questions down in the comments section. So, why am I here at Magic Kingdom for a dining review? Well, I am continuing my look at the classic snacks at the Walt Disney World theme parks, and I started this by getting the carrot cake cookie over in Disney's Hollywood Studios, which of course I gave a big thumbs up to. But now I am here for another classic snack, one that I love. We've reviewed it before. It's been a while, though, so I'm excited to, to get back to reviewing it again. No, it's not Dole Whip. It's, uh, it's another very popular snack here. Uh, what is it? Well, like other reviews I do, I don't know why I'm acting like it's a surprise, because you've either seen the thumbnails, you've read the descriptions, read the titles, so you already know. It is the Cheshire Cafe Cattail today. That's what I'm, I'm going to be snacking on. $5.49, usually available at the Cheshire Cafe, but of course it's still currently closed, but you can pick it up at Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe for the time being. And what is the Cheshire Cafe Cattail? If you've never had it before, it's basically like a long chocolate Danish, and then it's garnished with this beautiful, beautiful stripes of kind of purplish pink and and blue and it's just it's a gorgeous gorgeous dessert and who doesn't like a a good flaky croissant danish style with chocolate and on a really really warm day in magic kingdom this dish is fantastic because not only is it always good but then when it's sitting in the sun for a little bit the sun will start to melt it and make it gooey and just melty and you know some people might say it's gross it definitely turns into one of those desserts that you wish you had a a knife and fork for and uh, luckily it's not super hot today so i should be fine just eating it by hand but i'm excited for it it looks tasty so i am gonna go in for my first bite here not the best one of these i've ever had I'm not going to lie at all. It almost feels like it's slightly stale. And I've not really had that before with a cattail. It's, it's usually it feels fresh, but it is still flaky. And the chocolate's delicious in it. You know, it still tastes good. It's a texture, but something's a little off on this one. It's just, it's not my best one by any stretch. Still really delicious, but you know, I usually I finish one of these always wanting a big glass of milk which I wish I had right now but usually I'll finish one of these and you know once the the sugar high wears down and the chocolate goes away from my brain I'm like you know what I could really use another cattail and then I instantly want one but today no not so much it's uh it's just you know, it's okay. It's okay. So a little sad, a little disappointed with it. But there still might be some redemption with this. And I'll get to that in just a second, but I've got to get another bite. Where's the redemption coming from here? Well, when I picked up my Cheshire Cafe cattail, the cast member also handed me one more bag with extra items in there as, uh, as a kind gesture. She really didn't have to do that, but it was it was a super nice surprise. I had no idea what was going on until I walked away. But yeah, then it dawned on me later that she said that she was also throwing on the s'mores. And well, that's the surprise. I also have a bag of the s'mores that they offer as a dessert from Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. So the s'more, it looks kind of like a oversized pop tart, uh, you know, a sort of hand pie, a puff with definitely chocolate on the inside and it comes in a nice little white bag and there's two s'mores in there so uh, definitely cool and it normally costs 
again, the cast member threw this in here, so I'm not necessarily reviewing it because I didn't pay for it, but I'm obviously going to eat it and share my thoughts on it, so yeah, I can't, I can't pass up the opportunity, so let's give it a bite. This just earned a holy crap on a cow from Craig Williams here. This dessert is awesome. And it absolutely blew away the cattail a thousand percent. Uh, the, the outside of the s'more here, the, it's got that graham cracker flavor to it. It's crumbly. It's, it's soft. It's really, really, really nice. And then it just, it melts right in your mouth as you're eating it. And then as you can see on the inside, or if you're listening, you can't, but trust me on this, a big, big layer of marshmallow, a super big layer of marshmallow, and then just a nice thin layer of chocolate in this. So it's like, for me, it's the perfect ratio. I like chocolate on certain occasions. Today's one of those days, hence why I got the cattail and I'm willing to eat this. But normally I'm, I'm not a super heavy chocolate guy, but because the marshmallow is the dominant flavor in this s'more, I am I am so happy. This is really, really tasty. It's even a little bit warm. I'm not sure, again, if that's because of how it's kept in a container at Cosmic Rays or if it's because it was sitting out here in the sun a little bit for me, but uh, this is essentially the equivalent of like a warmed up s'mores Pop-Tart if it was homemade. And that's really good because s'mores are probably one of my favorite variants of Pop-Tarts, if not my favorite. I know there's no nutritional value with it, but it's just tasty, and this is really tasty too. So, uh, Cheshire Cafe Cattail, you know, I think it's a classic. I think you should try it. I wish I could give it a bigger endorsement based on the one I had today, but I just can't. These s'mores though, it's a it's very surprised by this, very happy as well too. So keep an eye on the s'mores if you, if you come to Magic Kingdom and go to Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. I, I think it's it's worth grabbing. But that's going to do it for this dining review. I hope you enjoyed it. I really know I enjoyed it, but I hope you enjoyed it as well. Before I go, I just want to remind you one more time to hit the thumbs up on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Leave comments, questions, and video suggestions for dining reviews in the future in the comment section down below. And then also, Please, 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 if you're planning an upcoming trip to Walt Disney World, consider using Dreams Unlimited Travel. You can get that free, no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed it once again. I'll see you next time with another Disney Dining Review. Take care. Bye-bye.